with a visit to West Lafayette, Indiana to play Purdue. It was their first conference road game and the first in a stretch of four road games over five weeks. The Nittany Lions defense was ready for the challenge of taking on the Big Ten's leading passer, Purdue quarterback Curtis Painter. But Tom Bradley's defense let it be known early that this would not be a day for the Boilermakers to build statistics. Inside handoff and Bowman is right there with Audric to take him down for a loss of the 29-yard line. Sheets up the middle, stood straight up by Evans and company and driven back for a one-yard loss, back to pass. Loads it up, pops, and down he goes, back at his own 45-yard line. Penn State's early season success included some big offensive first quarters, but not against Purdue. When the Boilermakers started to win the early battle for field position, the Nittany Lion defense stepped up. Late in the quarter, Purdue started to mount a drive that would get them as far as the Penn State 23. But Drew Astorino and Aaron Mabin made sure they wouldn't get any closer than that. Gets the snap. Back he goes. Pressure from Mabin and down he goes. Back at the 28-yard line. It's at great speed, at quickness. That first step is now setting up a field goal attempt for Purdue. Put down. He will kick it. It's on its way. It has the distance. And that kick is going to be no good. Wide to the right. And the Nittany Lion defense does a great job, Jack, because remember, Purdue started from midfield. So now Penn State, probably the best field position they've had the entire football game, They've got a chance to get on track here right now and put something on the board. They'll give it to Royster, following Lawler, then gets a block to the 40, 35, 30, Royster 25. Well, I'll tell you, Lawler again, the yeah. fullback, I mean, he is an unsung hero. Kickout block by Cadogan, Lawler kicks the guy back inside, pins him to the inside, a good screen block. Penn State's offensive line has been leading the way all season long for one of the most productive units in the country, and they were starting to take control again, opening holes for the ground game and giving quarterback Darrell Clark lots of time to find open receivers. Graham Zugg's catch got it to the five-yard line, and Clark himself took it to the one. And when faced with a fourth and goal, he took it one step beyond that. Clark under center. Clark, quarterback sneak right side, touchdown, Penn State! And the Nittany Lions take the lead. Good job here with the offensive line. Just all you need was a little bit of a surge and a touchdown. This was Purdue's conference opener, and they had never lost a home Big Ten opener under head coach Joe Tiller. Again, they started to move with Corey Sheets, picking up a first down on the ground, and Curtis Painter throwing for another through the air. But Penn State's defense got tougher the closer Purdue got, and that was a theme that lasted most of the afternoon. Second down and eight. Good snap. Close it up, throws far side. Orton makes the catch, and immediately Davis takes him down. Painter dropped the snap, picks up the snap to his left, and Gaines brings him down with help that time from Hull for a loss back at the 19-yard line. And now they'll have to kick with Chris Summers again. 36-yarders up, and that kick by Summers is no good again! Back goes Clark on a play-action fake. Pump fakes, in trouble, now rolls near side, sees an alley, he'll deliver the ball, complete the bracket over the 30, and a first down to 33-yard line. Brackett would catch another pass for 18 yards in a drive that would be a masterpiece for Clark. Penn State took over the ball with a little under four minutes to go in the half, and Clark used up every second of it while hitting four different receivers with passes. 11 plays, 72 yards later, Kevin Kelly had a field goal try. Kick by Kevin Kelly is good to make it 10 nothing. They'll settle for the field goal. All of a sudden, Penn State is gaining the momentum. That momentum comes from being prepared, and it spilled over into the second half as the Penn State defense allowed little on the ground and forced a three and out on the Boilermakers' first series, smothering the top passing offense in the country. And he threw it through his hands, and it's fourth down, and Summers will have to kick it away. Great read by Clark. They blitzed off the edge, and that freed up Williams, and he found him. He's almost like a running back back there, and there's nobody around him. Twice to right side, following Lawler, 40, 35, tripped oh. up at the 30. Oh, Jack, he was gone. From the eye, it's Royster behind Lawler. Following Lawler right side, big block 30, 25, spins the 20, and another Penn State first down. Two left, two right, Clark in the gun. Good snap, back he goes with some time. Looks downfield for Dion Butler, makes the catch inside the five of the four-yard line, and the Nittany Lions get a first down. 
Butler with great footwork on the sideline. Under center on first and goal. Royce right up the middle. Touchdown, Penn State. And the Nittany Lions have that three score. As usual, Penn State had a strong following on the road, and they knew a three score lead was plenty with the way the Nittany Lion defense was performing. They're ranked at or near the top of the Big Ten in all the major categories. About the only thing they hadn't done to Purdue was cause a turnover. Back he goes, throws over the middle, and it's intercepted by Asserino. Asserino, 45, swings near side, 50, gets a block from Walls to the 40. Done a good job of tackling here today, and end up Asserino turns into a wide receiver going back the other way and does a good job of getting the ball all the way down to the 30-yard line. The pick came late in the third quarter, and Penn State would take advantage of the turnover early in the fourth quarter. A shovel pass to Evan Royster worked for 23 yards. The Nittany Lions couldn't reach the end zone this time, but Kevin Kelly tacked on three more. Kelly, 21-yard field goal. Andrew Pitts will snap it. Boom, puts it down. The kick by Kelly is up, and the kick by Kelly is good. And Penn State does get a 20 to nothing lead. Penn State had frustrated Curtis Painter yet again. He's never thrown a touchdown pass against the Lions in four games. Purdue switched to Joey Elliott, who provided a spark for the Boilermakers, who had not scored an offensive touchdown on Penn State in over 11 quarters of football. Motion by Halliburton toward us. Sheets flies up over the top. Touchdown, Purdue. Elliott never touched the ball again. Penn State ran out the final six and a half minutes, improving to 6-0. and oh.